Radha Keli Nikonja Vitisu Charan Radabidam Ucharan Radaya Anurupam Eva Paramam Dharmam Rasena Charan Radayas Charanam Bujam Paricharan Nano Pacharai Muda Kahi Sham Shruti Sekaro Pari Charan Ascharya Charyam Charan When will I walk over the crown of the Vedic scriptures, behaving in a very amazing way while wandering over the pathways of Radha's play bowers, loudly singing Radha's name? performing Radha's highest duty with great taste and blissfully serving Radha's lotus feet with different paraphernalia. Again, when will I walk over the crown of the Vedic scriptures, behaving in a very amazing way while wandering over the pathways of Radha's play bowers, loudly singing Radha's name, performing Radha's highest duty with great taste, and blissfully serving Radha's lotus feet with different paraphernalia. Walking over the crown of the Vedas. Commentary. Sripad humbly prays when will the blessed day come that I can walk over the pathway of Radhika's Keli Kunjas, clearly experiencing what pastimes she plays there with her prana valaba? I will get goose pimples of ecstasy on my skin when I meditate on these sweet pastimes. And as a result, everything will become clearly visible to my eyes. Vrindavan is the crown of all the Vedic scriptures. <clears throat> I remember after Veda Vyas wrote all the Vedas down, Actually, Ganesh wrote them down. But after that, he was not satisfied. And then Narada Muni came and asked him, <laughs> if he has written about the Leelas of Krishna, and he teached him that all scriptures actually are useless when they he wrote Srimad Bhagavatam. Mm. 
and we know from our acharyas that the Srimad Bhagavatam is the ripe fruit on the trees of the Vedas. And also Srimad Bhagavatam, the culmination in Srimad Bhagavatam is 10 canto speaking about Vrindavan Lila. So, Vrindavan is the Paramadam, the highest spiritual place. Yes. In Briyad Bhagavatam Rita, Sri Srila Sanatan Goswami describes how Narada Muni told Gopa Kumar in Udrika Dvaraka to go to Purushottam Puri. Although Gop Kumar was more eager to see his sweet beloved Sriman Marangopal in Braja. Udava therefore told Narada, O Devarishi, don't let him wander around anymore. Send him straight to the terrestrial Vrindavan. Gurudev always say it not happened five thousand years ago, it's happening now. So Prabhupada Saraswati also, he has the desire to walk in Vrindavan and searching for all the places of Leela and experiencing them because they are happening eternally there in the spiritual dimension. So it's not that they enter a past time. <laughs> it's not in the past. It's eternally present. Also like Rupa Goswami did that, Sanatan, Raghunath, Das. They could enter in these leelas by the strength of their bhajan. And they wrote down their experiences for us that we also can somehow get a glimpse of that and get the desire also to be there. Sora Chanda. Yes, please share. Rade, Rade, Rade. Yes, it's so interesting. Uh, when you speak about Gopuma, then uh, what is what is the point that relate to us the story of Gopuma? So um, we can see he was traveling 
all universes. And uh, uh, he was on, on all lokas that are described in the Vedas. And after all, he came back to Vrindavan. Right? Right. And uh, <clears throat> what is this meaning to us in our uh, situation now? Our problem is that uh, even we are eternal, we forget all our previous lifetimes. Right? Right. And, and so they, they give us some hint to remember where we coming from. Sometimes we think, oh, I was, I live in Second World War. Or I was uh, some some king or some beggar, but actually this is only a small thing of our mind because we have no experience about other universes. And Sanatana Goswami. He is helping us in this story of Gop Kumar that also we have a small imagination of all the places where we was in other lifetimes. And so it is, they help us to understand that after all, the conclusion of all the scriptures and of all this experience in other lifetimes, it should be to come back to Vrindavan. It's such a beautiful help to us. Gop Kumar is like us. We can see we are like Kumar. He is only an example of lifetimes we not remember. But Sanatana Goswami described this in his beautiful book. And so we get the help. And also that we can get the same uh, goal like Gokumar, and we also like to go straight, straight to Vrindavan. And in our case, it is the way to our Swamini, right? And to serve her properly, We left even the Vedas behind us. All these rules and regulations described in the Vedas. We have to leave behind us. And to fulfill Radharani's duties, is it duty? Wünsche? Desire desires, we have to forget all these rules and regulations. And this is in this beautiful verse you share with us. It's so beautiful described. Yes. Jai Shri Radha. I think it's also very interesting that
Narada, no, Udava told Narada he should send him to the terrestrial Vrindavan, mm -hmm. not to the Vrindavan in the spiritual world. Gop Kumara, <laughs> he is traveling many places. He even, he go to Vaikuntha. So, but it looks like that, that the actual goal is very near. We don't need to travel so far and searching for Radharani in the whole universe. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very near. Yeah, that is somehow it's amazing. <laughs> so, because we also searching, no? many lifetimes we searching something and we also go up and down in the universe. But there's no need for that. Sometimes that what we want is very near. Mm -hmm. But we always think it's far away. I have to run and have to run and to search and to search. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Someone else want to share something? O Deva Rishi, the great souls become very humble when they come to the terrestrial Raja and they always develop love for Krishna there. It seems to them as if the saints, the forest, the Yamuna River and Govardhan Hill are all empty. And thus they search for their beloved Lord with a burning heart, constantly lamenting, Alas, alas. Gopakumar's heart was completely pure. And when he came to Braja, following Uddhava's order, he swiftly attained the mercy of his beloved Sriman Madan Gopa. Yeah. The great souls become very humble. That is the way to enter. Humble means, or Chanda, in this way, that they are no more identified with their false ego. False ego is never humble. It is, uh, it likes to control. It likes to be the boss. This is uh, exactly the opposite of humbleness. And so we can learn that, that the meaning of a great soul is that they are beyond the material identification with the body. And this is also one of our first steps to understand and to realize that we are not this body. And uh, still this identification is with us, but we are all in the Gurudev's training camp to overcome this and uh, to enter, sometimes he say garden house, 
our spiritual body to exchange our feelings and relationship to our Swami. Mm. Today we can learn from, from many <clears throat> who are realized this spiritual body. We can say maybe there was this Bhishma after the battle of Purukshetra, no? He was laying on a bed of arrows and he was able to control the time his soul leave this body. And the only thing he desired was to see the face of his beloved Lord, Ishtade, Krishna. And he was waiting so long. He was laying on a bed of arrows. We cannot imagine this. He not take care of his material body because he was on another level. He was on a spiritual level. Even so, we can see our Raghunathas, how he behaved to his material body. He, sometimes he has to remember that there is a body to give some drink for this or some food because he was not in relationship actually with this body. But especially we can see, because it's Eastern time, we, in the Christianity we see Eastern time, there is also Jesus who was not related actually to this body. He gave up this body immediately when he saw this, there is a desire of his father. And he gave it all up. Today is this day he gave up this body. And we see many examples of uh, the saintly people who are really realized that they are not the body. And, and so their behave, we, many times we cannot understand. We think they are a little crazy or they don't eat. Why they don't eat? They have no relationship uh, with this body, with the material body. They are living in a spiritual body. And this we can learn from them so much. Was heißt uh, um, ent Entsagung? Renunciation. So sometimes we take renunciation in an active way. But this is a different to this holy people, this self-realized souls. Actually, their renunciation is uh, some kind of not connected with material body. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Yes, I so agree. They have to press themselves to uh, was heißt erhalten? Maintain. To maintain their uh, material body. They no more attached to this. Mm. And my personal desire is to come on this point where I'm no more attached to this material body. This is so, it's such a great step. And then, Gorachanda, then this humility. It's, it's just there because we are not connected to material identification. We love everyone because we see the soul in every being, even in trees, in animals, in fish. We don't use them 
to our pleasure, to satisfy our senses. No, we love them because they are brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. And that we see automatically if we reach this state of realization. Like Francisco from this, uh, uh, our Italian friends, they live so close to his place. He even spoke, when he spoke about the wind, Oh, my brother, he said, to the wind. Because he has some relationship to this being, it is a light. So, so beautiful when we read this, this book here, so many things come and realizations coming automatically. Alas, alas. Alas, alas. <laughs> <laughs> we also have to call out. <laughs> when will this moment come in our life? Very nice, very happy, very happy, very nice. Say <laughs> good day. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. Alas, alas, Guru Dev. Alas. Read <laughs> more. The great souls become very humble. You see, great souls become humble. Who is not a great soul doesn't become humble in Vrindavan. <laughs> Why we become humble? Why Gop Kumar become humble finally? <laughs> because such a long journey, searching and searching, seeing everything, going through the whole universe, even to Vaikuntha, but never was satisfied. Running and running, and then coming to Vrindavan. So, it's always a gift. I cannot get it by my own endeavor. I only can ask for it. Pray for it. Be greedy for it. I cannot attain it by my strength. I only can receive it by mercy. But I have to show my desire. So <laughs> that is what Gop Kumar is doing. Running, running in Vrindavan, crying, alas, alas. So, also in material life, I try to find happiness in this world. I try hard. But soon I become old and still I could not find love and happiness in my life. So that is a humbling experience. Old age makes you humble also. And everything here I read, it seems to them as if the saints, the forest, the Yamuna River and Govardhan Hill are all empty. 
And thus they search for their beloved Lord with a burning heart, constantly lamenting. In Shikshastaka, sixth verse, Govinda Virahename, <laughs> separation from you feels like endless time for me. My heart is burning. I cannot survive one more second without you. And without you, everything is empty. I'm living in the desert. Nothing to eat, nothing to drink, no juice, no feelings. Yeah. So the heart is burning. And the only remedy is to achieve my Ishtadev. We have to cry for it. It's clearly mentioned all, everywhere, again and again. Like Gaur Govinda Maharaj, opening, crying school. <laughs> Narayan Maharaj asking in hidden paths of devotion, what you have to give, na? what you have to offer. No qualification, only one thing, what it is, uh -huh. I have to give my heart. This is the only thing. Mm. And what is in the heart, son? What is, what is the speciality in the heart we have to give in our case? We as Swamini's Manjaris, we understand that in every heart of every living being, there is a small or a bigger heart called love. Even in the animals, in the plants, in the fish, there is a place filled with love. And so, as the Manjaris of Swamini, we understand that she is there. And we are only a small, very, very, very small servant of her. But if we understand it nicely that wherever love is, she is, we can see in all living beings her presence. So we can see the presence of our Ishtadev in all living beings, even stones, wind, water, fish, plants, everywhere. This is Guru Dev's teaching that the kingdom of Swamini is much bigger than the kingdom of Krishna, of God. Even these atheistic people, they believe in love. There is no one being who is really without love. And if we look nicely after the life of Gokumar, there is all places he went, he missed something. It was not complete. And that was his love to Krishna in that moment. And in the moment he is again together with his beloved deity, Ishtade, he is fully satisfied. And he will not walk or travel anymore. And this is our position also. In that moment, 
we are again together with our Ishta Devi in our case. This traveling time is finished. No need to travel anymore. We are at home. We are happy. Together with our Swami again. Shri Radhe. Jai Ho Bhaiya. Jai Ho. Uh, I promised, so I'm here. Uh, <laughs> Radhe Radhe, dear Gora, so beautiful. Okay. I come there. I was just um, floating in this uh, feelings mm -hmm. of what both of you were sharing about uh, <clears throat> the end of the journey, arriving in Vrindavan. And for all of us who have come here and have swallowed this air, swallowed the dust of this place, feel that this is full of bhav, this place. Braja Dham is really manifestation of the bhav, of the love of the devotees <coughs> for the Ishtadev, as Gora was describing, so beautiful. <coughs> and I was thinking <coughs> often, Gurudev uses this beautiful explanation that if you look at the trees here, in which position are the trees here? They're bowing down. They are so humbled by the feelings of Raj. Thank you so much. So nowhere else you can see the trees are bowing down. They're already great souls, right? Like we can learn from the trees how to be humble. In this land, we can really learn how to be real humble. But not only the trees are bowing down, Gurudev, even Stone has feelings here. I often see if you go to Brijvasi's house or you go to Govardhan, you will see they're worshipping Govardhan Sheila. They're doing Sringar of a stone. So the stone has also feelings, Bhav, and has Anurag with the devotee. But Gurudev, why is my heart not melting? <laughs> my heart is like so hard like a stone. Even stone can have love here, but not my heart. <laughs> so I'm, I'm puzzled, Gurudev. It's a general problem, Gopinath. No, it's my problem. <laughs> greed is, intense greed is missing. Intense greed is missing. My relation is missing. So... They make us to melt, but my heart is so stone with the negative practices that they don't melt. They are still stone, uh, iron, uh, rocks that I can not see. Cover is uh, like a foggy that I cannot relate with my today. So, because of the ego, many times disturb us to keep distance with the relation with my Ishtadev. When the day will come, that only, only she is in my vision. Other thing with no meaning for me. When she comes to the our vision and the Dibhyanika Dev Prakash, then Prema Bhakti coming inside that we start floating, we become viewer, not doer. Mm -hmm. The day we are doer, 
we cannot view to her mercy. One day I listen, mercy means to receive. And what to receive? The realization. When we realize something by the mercy and we change our practice, that is mercy. If we not change our habits, the mercy I know receive it. When we start changing our old practice, that is mercy. And then greed will come also? Then greed comes naturally because the old practice to live in the false ego is gone. And then we start living in her dasi Only I can see my boss, my son, nothing else coming in my vision. And when the, I miss the vision, I am crying for that. That practice creates uh, more and more meditation for my siddhya. Sadak deha, bhavi jaha, siddha deha, bhavi What I will practice in sadak deha, that I will get in siddha deha. Hmm. It's saying sa sadak bhava yaha. Hmm. So what feeling I in sadak deha I will do that I will get in Siddha Deha. I have to practice in Sadak Deha. Same way of feeling, practice of feeling to reach to the Siddha Deha. We will practice in Sadak Deha, material thinking. I will get in material as we That means not to give up to the Sadak Deya. There is no need to give up the Sadak Deya, to develop hmm. in the Siddha Deya. And this message, Sadak Deya is helping for my bhajan also. Sadak Deya is helping to serve also. Hmm. Service can be only by Sadak Deya. Hmm. In Siddha Deya, I will only serve to the Swamini in our Siddha Deha. But Sadak Deha, I can see Swamini in all living beings. That is the service. Bhavibhya Jaha, where you, what you see in the Sadak Deha, you will get that. Means in the Sadak Deha, if you are there, you see the person or you see the Swamini there mm. in living beings or devotees. And when you see in all devotees to them, to your Swamini, then why not you will do service? Hmm. Why not you will tolerate? Why not you will listen? Because see, talking to others to you. That vision has to grow. This way our heart becomes stone that I not see that. Mm. Right. And this not can possible to change without again, without Sravanam. Listening and chanting is the only way and good association with all Rasik Vaishnavas. Mm. We have to be like a student to open yourself with your eye and ear to drink all the seekers. Means you have to be always a student to learn every moment of life. And 
when I am a student, then my spiritual master will navigate me. If I become master, then he will stop navigating me. <laughs> we block ourselves to become master. We have to be a good student always to be in his navigation. To be like a child, Gurudev. Radhe, right, Johan. Gopinath said. Go on, read more. Yeah, I want to add something. I think we have to develop our female nature. My heart is like a stone. It cannot melt because I still try to control everything. And when we practice in Sadaka Deha, same thing that we practice in Siddha, it means that we have to practice a mood of female in our Sadaka Deha. Our Sadhana is not like tapasya and endeavor and um, being the doer. Gurudev just said so, so nicely how to get the mercy by receiving it. This is a female concept. Male concept is attaining something. Female nature is to receive something. Male nature is to control everything. Female nature is to be in, in the flow. Compassion, tolerance, sweetness, serving mood. This is all female nature. Have to become more soft <laughs> in our sadhaka deha. Then maybe heart also will melt. Stone like heart can melt. <clears throat> yeah. Sripat says here, when I wander through Vrindavan, my mouth will always loudly sing Radha's name. Narottam Das Thakur sings Jaya Jaya Radha Nam Vrindavana Yahadam. Krishna Sukha Vilasera Nidhi. Glory, glory to Radha's name, whose abode is Vrindavan, the ocean of Krishna's happiness. All the savor of Radha is present in her name also. I will get goose pimples of ecstasy on my skin when I chant that sweet nectarian Radhanam and my tongue 
will become overwhelmed. Alas, when will I search for my beloved Radhaji? Wandering from Kunja to Kunja, loudly crying out her holy name. When will that day be mine? So I remember Prakashananda before. <laughs> Before he became Prabodhananda, very scholar, high class Vedantist, Jnani, controlling the mind, controlling the senses. <laughs> sitting and studying the scriptures. But now, he writing in the sloka, behaving in a very amazing way. <laughs> this behavior is very amazing. But, the meaning is behaving like a madman now. Only running around in Vrindavan, singing Radharani's name loudly, crying and crying like a madman. <laughs> so. so. His old disciples will become very surprised. The big Yani Vedantas, the best scholar in the times of Mahaprabhu, now becoming a madman <laughs> in Braja, behaving in an amazing way. In Dekite Dekite, Bhaktivinoda Thakur song, also he writing, when I will completely forget my material body and just run around in Vrindavan, behaving like a totally mad person. So Gora Chandraji. Yeah, Jai. Jai. <laughs> so actually, so if, if we remember Prabodhana eh, pra, eh, Prakashananda and Prabodhananda pastime, then at first he is a little bit envious for Mahaprabhu. Mm. But after seeing Mahaprabhu, slowly, slowly, ha, his his heart is melting. And at first disciple, his disciples sang Mahaprabhu's glory. Then he was, you know, very nasty, you know. What you're talking about? But after meeting Mahaprabhu, he changed. And uh, it is said, uh, after meeting Mahaprabhu, and then disciple called the Prakash, Prakashananda, Guruji. Now Mahaprabhu dancing, Guruji, please come, please come. And he become mad, running after Mahaprabhu to see. And then he's seeing his dancing. The more he become crazy. Ciao. This bus is the first bus of Sri you know, this Radhana Sasadani, first bus, I'm feeling. Why Prabhupada Saraswati put first bus about Mahaprabhu? 
Because Mahaprabhu's mercy, everything comes from. Radha's name coming from after seeing Mahaprabhu, after getting Mahaprabhu's mercy. So he changed mind, his mind meditating. I think this is also Gurudev used to say, we have to see sadhu. Because seeing sadhu, our heart may melt. Even though, you know, it's very hard, my heart is very hard, but uh, after seeing sadhu, slowly, slowly meditating. Anyone who see Gurudev, Sadhu Maharaj, heart is meditating. So this is uh, seeing the sadhu, seeing the Mahaprabhu, this is uh, amazing. And also the, the, the power of holy name. Holy name of Mahaprabhu. Gora means go, go, Govinda and Radha or Radha Mohan. <laughs> and just the name. This is also amazing. And uh, if I see, if I lead, I feel this, you know, leading this Radhara Sasdanizi. He was putting first bus and last bus Mahaprabhu, like sandwich. Because uh, he appreciated Mahaprabhu very much because Mahaprabhu's mercy, everything comes from. This Mahaprabhu also, his, his, Guru Dev also, he's also Ishta also. <laughs> Mahaprabhu is everything for him. So therefore he put from first bus and last bus Mahaprabhu's glory. This wow. also, if we remember this pastime, this pastime also make our heart very soft. <laughs> rather, rather. Yeah. So nice, and you just gave the answer of this question, when will I walk over the crown of the Vedic scriptures? You see these sadhus, how they behave, or even Mahaprabhu, is their behave like a Brahman? No, they are sometimes behave like crazy for normal people. They not understand. So their behave depends on the Vedic scriptures and not on the feelings. And if we watch the sadhus or Mahaprabhu himself, we can see his behave depends on feelings. Exchange these feelings. Gopkuma also after all, change. He, his behave, after all, depends on his feelings in relationship. And this we have to learn also, that our behave depends on feelings and relationship to Ishtadevi. Ishtadev. And then we walk over the ground of the Vedic scriptures. So nice. Jainanda, right? Yes. You know, Gopakumara, he went to, he went to Baikunta and the Caesar Narayan. He was very eager to embrace <laughs> Narayan. <Hey>. Right. <laughs> and <laughs> And then, you know, he was just start to, you know, try to embrace and then as a associate, no, 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 no. Right. You, cannot do, you cannot do this here. <laughs> yeah, Nara is like a king, you know, you cannot do this. And then Gopakumar is so sad, you know. And then Narada Muni came, you know. I think, you know, this place is not, not good for you. 
<laughs> I think your your dear place is Braja. <laughs> yeah. You have to go, you have to go <laughs> Braja. Then how can I go? You have to go. This Boma Brindama. And then practice. Raga Bhaja. Then he did. And then finally. So means he, he was, he was, he has feeling. But sometimes, you know, we are too much association with rule and regulation and uh, very, very hard hearted, hard hearted Brahmin, etc. <laughs> Right. And then also this material also try to kill our feeling. I feel, mm. you know. Especially, especially so-called advanced country. Mm. You know, you know, if we feel something, you know, and then no, 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 you cannot do this. Right, right. So, but uh, this Brindavan, especially Mungen Raj Mandir, very free, very mm. comfortable, <laughs> very easy to do anything. This and is our place. Yes, this is our home. Guru is home, Radha Mohan's home, Parama Guru home. It's our home also. This is our good fortune. Yeah. Great fortune. I have one very interesting thought right now. You see, Gopakumar, he is in Bhav. <laughs> he wants to run for Narayan and hug him. He wants to give unconditional love to Narayan. <laughs> but Narayan not resonates with his mood. <laughs> Too much Aishwarya is there. So I think that Mahaprabhu, he giving unconditional love. Yeah. He not watching for qualification or not. But I think it is a result of his bath. It is mm. natural. In this bath, you cannot dif differentiate anymore. Mm. You cannot see what is good and what is bad. Who is qualified or not. In this bath, you only want to hug everyone. Mm. <laughs> you see your Ishtadev everywhere. Mm. You see it in your most dear devotees, and you also see it in Jagai and in Madai. <laughs> like Nitai. No. <laughs> Just overflowing compassion, love, bath, <laughs> prayer. The eyes are anointed with the with love. So then becomes natural that what is going out from your heart to everyone is unconditional. Because also said like uh, Uttama Adhikari Bhakta on the highest platform of realization. He cannot teach because he cannot say what is helpful, what is not helpful, what is good, what is not. For him, <laughs> everything is praying. Everywhere is Radha Mohan. It is said that Uta Marikari, in, when he wants to teach, he has to come down to level of Madhyam, meaning control his bath 
when he wants to teach something. Mm. Otherwise, it's not possible. <laughs> because, <laughs> because the eyes are anointed with love. <laughs> Cannot see other outside of love. So, Gorachana, this is a completely feeling of Radhika. And you mentioned this woman's nature, female nature. Mm. Because mother, it's a motherly nature. Mother cannot discriminate. You know, this is, you know, mother cannot see, could not see qualification. Only by love. This is my son. This is my daughter. All has good quality, <laughs> you know. Mother has, you know, son or daughter, you know, even though no qualification, but uh, no, he has so much quality. She has so much quality. Mother has always see good thing. This is also amazing, you know. <laughs> so this is Radhika. So we love Radhika. This is also very helpful to clear some doubts that we may have sometimes. Thinking, oh my God, Radharani, she has so many maidservants. She really also needs me, no? <laughs> there are so many. They are also qualified. How yeah. is possible? that I find my place at her lotus feet. But I remember one story from Anantadas Babaji. Mm -hmm. He gave Siddha Pranali to one devotee. And this devotee shared with me what Baba told him. He smiled at him, blessed him and said, now you realize that you are Radharani's most dear maidservant. Like everyone else. <laughs> everyone is Radharani's most dear maidservant. Nobody is more or less qualified in the eyes of Radharan, in her Vatsalya bath towards her dasis, like a mother, no? Every manjari is my dear most. Because I sometimes I think, no, really, me too, there are millions. <laughs> But yes, everyone. And Gorasunna, he spoke so nice also about quality of compassion. To see Radharani in everyone's heart. Also seeing that every jiva has such a great potential. Every jiva can become Dasi of Radharam. This is amazing, you know. This is amazing. Every jiva could become Radhanari's maid servant. This is mercy of Mahaprabhu. This is completely amazing. Mm. You know, Anantasva also said, every living entity could become Dasi of Radhika by the mercy of Mahaprabhu. If we think about it, this is completely amazing, you know? Yes. This is completely so merciful. Every living entity could become. Wow.
actually she is there but our point is to discover her that we can do to find her inside and for this discovering that we need one who is helping us and who is navigating on this path of discovering one was i that she one level after the other we have to free the 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 heart and then it will come and so we can see all living beings in this way many levels are or less levels are there and if we have uh if we are mostly together with those who are have no levels or less levels layers layers it's more easy to develop our own loving heart to come closer to our swami we can also see there in in the life of gop kumar when he liked to hug like jayananda you said he likes to hug also narayan no? <laughs> so we can see narayan is very attractive he has same color than krishna he is looking beautiful but what you said there is go achanda there is no resonance no you said isn't it there is no resonance to hugging from the uh, so the, narayan has a, has another bath what what you say no yeah. there is the same bath then uh, uh, our uh, uh, gopi janavala bath has he has different bath <laughs> narayan will not hug yeah. but our mohan he he would hug him but this is we not looking for this hug we looking for swamini's hug but attraction is also on vaikuntha so because of this many people like to go vaikuntha and less people like to come swamini's so, para is not looking narand ha gopa kumara is not looking narand not is thinking like he is his friend not yeah 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 <laughs> so he want to hug his friend yes he on the ground my friend but he is only feeling a uh, is friend there nothing else he see yeah we yeah. got some chair today he is sitting <laughs> i don't know somebody give chair but why is sitting high he has to come down and he want to pull him down <laughs> what happened <laughs> why you sitting high i am coming to you and you are sitting high but he don't know he is narayan <laughs> <laughs> This is his idea. He is very fit in his friend. <laughs> so he is very one point at fish. So he went there and nowhere he got the test that is not my friend is not here. My <laughs> friend is here. He has no this mood because already he is fixed. <laughs> so this is the one pointedness of Gopi Kumara. Hmm. 
So he knows, find his friend and he prays. So he don't be interested in that. <laughs> Our nature to see the person, what he is, and his nature only to see his Krishna and his friend, and he's seen everyone that. Wow. And when the reaction is not there, then he don't like to stay there, he wants to go away. Mm. <laughs> Can we say there is no Anurag? No Anurag. <laughs> Rag is there. Rag is there, so he's running to find it out. He's yeah. a, he's but Anurag, you know, see any place. Mm. The love from the his friend's side was not. I just wanted to, to say something on this point. Um, just a few moments ago when Gora Chandra was and Janandaji was saying about that um, everybody has in this age the possibility to become a Radha Dasi and there are millions of manjaris, right, Gurudev? Right. But how will Radharani notice us? Then I always come to this, which is described in Prima Bhakti Chandrika, that how can she notice us only when we are close to Guru Manjari? When she says, who is this new Dasi? And then Rupa will say, oh, she belongs to Ananga or she belongs to Ranga Manjari's group. So actually, Guru, if we have to make the group of our Guru Manjari bigger. Wow. Right. You right. said this once. We have to make our Guru Manjri more known there. Yeah. How can we do this? With increasing our citadel. If I not want to increase my citadel, why Guru becomes sick? He gives, but he's not. we are not practicing like we have to do it. So he has to take the pain of that. When we not do our sadhana, then this sadhana goes to Guru and he has to take that pain. So our sincerity, what he wants from me, we have to very sincerely do this service to him. That is most important. We don't need to doubt in his navigation, in his guidelines. If you follow, this is his responsibility, he will bring them. He will do everything for because he will be happy and proud when his increase also together with him in the service. And who will recognize us without our group? Then uh, why this Guru Anjali Mantra only ten times on finger and uh, or we can do I just ask you for a suggestion of this Guru Manjari Mantra or the Guru Manjari Gayatri we can do on Bhikshamala also. Not necessary because this is always good. Only this has to do that one is sadhak deha, one in siddhya If I do sadhak deha mantra and I am practicing in siddhya deha, it's different now. Both has to do to respect him for cling. I am worshipping to you for Radha Krishna. 
Radha Mohan. You give me Radha Mohan. That is the reason of your service. It doesn't matter on the finger or on the chamala. The chamala is recommended only three mantra. Gopal mantra, Kama Gayatri, and Gopal mantra, Kama Gayatri is one, Radha mantra, and Gaur mantra. No, that is Radha Mantra, Radha Gayatri, Gaur Mantra, Gaur Gayatri. Six is very sufficient. If you can do in the child very much, it's not easy. These are the main. Kama Gayatri is main. Gopal Mantra is main. Radha Mantra, Radha Gayatri is main. Gaur Mantra, Gaur Gayatri is main. Go on, read. Very few timeless. <laughs> I want to say something about Gopinath. He never think outside of Guru and Guru Manjari. When we go in the lecture some other way later, then he will bring back to Guru and Guru Manjari. This is the beauty. It's so important teaching. My Guru Manjari is always near. If I practice my Swarup, my Manjari, myself, not possible without Guru Manjari is near to me. So good. We just say like, as if it is not so important, but I wanted to point the finger to this important point. Actually, Gaurav Chandra, like imagine um, I'm wearing a very nice kurta today, but nobody's telling me that looks so nice, right? So if I imagine I'm wearing my prashadi dress, which I received from my Guru Manjri, which she received from Radharani, nobody's telling me, right? How I then I need the I need Guru Manjri to tell me everything. No, like like we need we need the other next to us who can feel our feelings, who can guide us, who can look at us, you know. So I feel this is so, um, yeah, we need, we need always to be in the shadow of our Guru Dev, our Guru Manjai. Otherwise, we're a bit lost in the forest. Like, like when Tulsi Rupa, is, Rupa Manjai is looking through the flowers and the first verse of Vilaku Sumanjali, and she's looking at the, of the loving play of Radha and Mohan and she gets this cut on her lips. But in that moment, she's not realizing the cut. What she's feeling is saying, oh, Tulsi should be here. She should also see this. And then she starts searching for her in the forest. And Tulsi at the same time has the feeling, that, oh, where is my Rupa? I need to see her. Something is going on. So they both meet. And then Tulsi notices the cut on Rupa's lips. But Rupa cannot see it. So Tulsi has to show it to her through her arm bracelet with arm pearls, which are reflecting the face of Rupa. Then Rupa Manjri sees the cut. So Guru Manjri, we need Guru Manjri, but also Guru Manjri needs them. Her inquiry is right, Guru Dev. I love it. 
Catching and watching when they will come. Wow, oh, not my God, thank you. <laughs> why, why they are angry? How to make police with us? <laughs> and they come. Why they are looking in different direction? Why not be looking in what I am showing to him? <laughs> Then Sripad prays, <clears throat> When will I perform Radha's highest duty with great relish? Srimad Bhagavatam defines the highest duty, the Parama Dharma, as follows. The highest duty for mankind is devotion to the transcendental Lord. This devotion is causeless, knows no impediments, and gives full bliss to the self. Sri Jiva Goswami comments, the highest religion is that devotional practice which gives us taste for hearing and chanting. Yeah. When is the moment when we can hear and chant properly? This is the moment we get our spiritual senses. Then the right person is listening and chanting. And this is the moment we can follow our Gurudev. We can follow our Gurudev only if we develop our spiritual senses and body. With material identification, we cannot follow him. So we cannot stay in contact to him because he will be in the spiritual body. He will be in spiritual senses. And we can not only stay in contact if we develop this and we have a good fortune as long as he is with us, it's more easy to develop this. We have to one use this time. Hmm? Good one, thing, one thing I want to add. Listening, why not we are listening? Because we lose the practice to listen. We start talking, <coughs> no listen. We have to change our practice to listen. So why not we listen, Gurudev? Because my practice is changed. Why to listen? I stop my listening for others. We want to listen my glorification. I am interested to listen my glorification. So I'm not interested to listen others, others. How to change this by listening? Without listening, we cannot listen divine words in behind that. If I no listen every living being, I cannot follow Gurudev words. I will not listen. I will listen and I will not listen. What is my benefit? I will listen that. But listening is not that. Listening has to be drinking. And when we listen and we follow, then divine ear will open. Divine. Chakshudan Devaji, 
the I will get the divine eyes, divine senses. Why, why not coming? My eye is not divine, my ear is not divine, because it's totally material practice, my ego living practice. So I listen my things only. I and my things. Material. But when we will practice to listen drinking, non stop drinking. Then it starts following that you are listening all the time to your divine word, Gurudev divine words, and you are not talking, you are the instrument, Gurudev is talking to you. You have to develop this listening up to here. <coughs> this is listening. Till this listening not come, then I am not perfectly realized the listening meaning. They began not happen, here is not open, blocked. So, this listening can change me to chanting. Then we start chanting your purification. Chanting your name, living with your mercy. And this is the kripa of navigation of Gurudev. Uh, but for listening, I have to have the same frequency of Gurudev. I have to tune into the frequency of Gurudev. Naturally. I put my own frequency. Then that was the frequency you radio. You say, uh, BBC, you want to listen, you have to come in that province. You want to listen to uh, New York or London, you have to go in that province. But we are keeping our province, so we don't listen. Right? We don't want to listen. That's my problem. Thank you, Gurudev. Then you just, you speak about the city of listening. It's very, very deep point. Basic, basic problem start from listening. Basic problem is not listening. I see because many people cannot listen. Yes. So realization cannot happen and chanting cannot happen. Chanting means you start living with your heart and mind. There. Yeah. Bhajan Kriya, not outside moving to the mind. Here and there. Go on. Jai Gurudev. I only want to say that the city of listening is really to receive, I feel, Gurudev, what you just say. That is Kripa when it, I receive. When, you re when the, the listening is not nothing that to be learned and then it's done. Listening is an ongoing process of always uh, listening inside or doing this inside homework and churning uh, the feelings and the service. And then it's like a fresh, it's coming new and new and new. Amazing thing happened, right, Gurudev? Yes. Yeah. So, Gurudev, when Gurudev gives initiation, diksha, he puts all the feelings, all the pictures, everything into the disciple, no? Everything is there. Scripture is only to check that is what you are realizing is there or not. I'm listening or not. What I'm realizing now by listening is there uh, is a sadhu sastra. The sadhu word is in sastra is there or not? Not sastra sadhu. First sadhu sastra. 
what my Gurudev says, Shastra is carrying or not. And Guru Vakya is all three or separately or one. Chitya se karo, akha means this is the one pointedness. Keep it in your heart. This is not to deviate from that. Other thing only deviation. So, then Guru Mukha Padma Vakana. If I know this is Guru Mukha Padma Vakana, not there. Yeah, I also think this is very deep. Everything you will listen. But we not listen with the mind. This is not proper listening. Listening is listening with the heart. Jesus also saw us. He never saw us mind. Now, no scripture, a spiritual scripture, so that you meditate with the mind and repeat and meditate. Maybe the priest can say, but a spiritual thing move from the heart. Never mind. Mind is a creator of all things. So I think it is also mentioned in this what we just read from the Srimad Bhagavatam. I will try to show it, take it out. Srimad Bhagavatam says this devotion is causeless. We're talking about Raga Bhakti, spontaneous love. My devotion has no cause. My devotion has no desire for Gyan or Kama or Mukti. My devotion is causeless, spontaneous. And Jiva Goswami comments on that. He is saying this dev the highest devotion is that devotion that gives taste for hearing and chanting. Wow. Wow. Hearing only and chanting. You see that? Because in this verse of Srimad Bhagavatam is also mentioned that this devotion gives full bliss to the Self. To that connects Jiva Goswami when he say, the highest devotion is this devotion that gives taste for hearing and chanting. Because hearing and chanting will give the Self the highest bliss. So by proper hearing and chanting, I receive the mood and the mercy that gives bliss to the Self, that grows my Swarup. So it is just mentioned here what Gurudev explained, proper hearing. The highest religion is that devotional practice which gives us taste for hearing and chanting. You see? Without hearing, there is no chanting to happen. 
Caring means, means here means that the listen, your divine connection by hearing. That is the meaning of hearing. And this hearing gives bliss to the self, mean to the heart, not to the mind. <laughs> so we should listen with the heart. Mm. That is proper listening. Then Sripad says, I will perform the highest duty by always hearing nectarian Radha Katha from the mouths of Rasika devotees. And I will chant her sweet glories and remember them. Yeah. Raga Nuga Bhakti is called Mano Dharma, the mental religion. Mone Nija Siddha Deha Koriya Bhavan Ratri Dina Kore Braje Krishnera Sevana Chaitanya Charitamrita Think of your own spiritual body and in that spiritual body serve Krishna in Braja day and night. The neophyte should take care, though, that his smaran does not become a habitual drag. The pastimes should be remembered spontaneously as much as possible. Then the perfection of love can swiftly be attained. Sripa then says, What is perfection of love, Gorachanda? You just read. Realizing my Ishtadev and realizing my relation. Perfection of love. 